Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So recently I have received a comment asking for a pirate ship and I recently just have the best time creating unique and different builds. So I thought, hey, a pirate ship. I didn't even think of this. This is amazing. So I decided to tackle a pirate ship. I built this in Solani and on the left side you can already see a couple of debug objects. And these debug objects are from Get Famous. So the acting career is part of Get Famous and there are lots of movie props in debug which are a part of Get Famous. And one of the movie props is a pirate ship or to be precise, the bow and stern of a pirate ship and just some smaller objects. So you basically still have to create the pirate ship yourself, but you can use the bow and stern to create your own ship. And I wanted to do this like when Get Famous came out, but then I didn't. I don't know, but now I'm just more open to create a build like this. And after reading the comment, I thought, okay, this is like such a great idea. So essentially I'm building the shape of the ship myself. I'm using lots of objects and I'm then using the bow and stern to have the front and back of the pirate ship. And I just added so many objects because I really wanted to customize this and I wanted to turn this into my very own build because due to the bow and stern being a part of the Get Famous debug, basically any Sims 4 pirate ship out there has the same front and back essentially because this is just the object for a pirate ship. Of course, you could also create your very own pirate ship without using these two objects, but I feel like they're just amazing and it's like, it's so cool to create a pirate ship that actually looks like a pirate ship. So I can just really recommend it if you own Get Famous, if you want to create your own pirate ship, maybe this is just such a great way to do it. So I don't know a lot about pirate ships, so I had to take a look at lots of pictures to understand the structure of a pirate ship. So I looked at lots of pictures even like some Lego toys I found on Google and generally the stern of the ship. So the back is kind of elevated and is sitting above the water. So I just built this part of the ship on the level like above. And I wanted to have a really smooth transition between the different levels. So I decided to use lots of core builds. I wanted this to look like one shape because you, it's really risky like when you are using different levels and rooms it easily looks just like a like a house like a regular building or like a houseboat so I wanted to incorporate like really smooth and round shapes so I've used the core builds and also a round room in the back of the build so the stern which is a part of the get famous debug is also round it has a round shape, but it's not identical to the round shape the rooms have. So it's like not perfect, but it's looking pretty good. And I've then just tried different things. At first, I wasn't sure what to do with the front of the ship. The bow from Get Famous also has a slightly round shape, but it just wasn't really working. You can see it here, it's not really looking like a pirate ship. So I had to make lots of changes and later on I'm going to place a ton of individual objects to really make it work. So at this point I was like, okay, I cannot deal with this now. I'm just going to decorate the rest of the ship and then I'm going to go back to the front of the ship. So here I'm using curtains. I wanted to like have a really customized look as I said and at first I used these white curtains from the werewolves pack but then I decided against them later on. I was talking to Sati like I was showing her the house or the ship and she was like okay what about these like flags from Journey to Batu? And later on, I'm going to use them. So you will see later in the build when I'm changing this. Yeah, and here at this point, I'm trying to figure out what is even going on with the front of the ship. I'm once again using lots of core builds, but then I wasn't really happy. And once again, I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to work on the rest of the build. So I started to place lots of core builds in the bag. Also, sometimes people are asking me why they're are like some tiles on my ceilings. So a couple of years ago, there was a mod 
which or CC, which could be added to your game, but it like does not affect the gallery upload. It does not translate to the gallery. So when you have it in your game, it's only like changing the ceiling tiles for yourself, for screenshots or just for building. And I added it, but then as far as I know, it was kind of removed. So the creator is not like providing this mod or CC, whatever it is online. But I think I've recently seen a new version of this from someone. If I can find it, I'm going to tweet about it, but I think there might be a new version. So yeah, I wanted to make this super functional. So I raised the platform in the back. So I wanted your Sims to be able to actually walk on all these debug objects. For this, I'm later on going to place them on a different level. So this way the, the object is not blocking your Sims because it's sitting on a different level. And I've furnished all these areas and just added different things because I just really wanted this to be functional and I wanted to incorporate the debug objects into the build and wanted to make it functional. And then I decided that I would like to have a pop of color. Like recently I have embraced really colorful builds more and a pirate ship like is mostly, it's just made out of wood and it's brown. So it's not really colorful, but I feel like red is always a good choice for any pirate build or pirate costume. I don't know, like this whole vibe and theme. So I decided to add a red wood color to the exterior in some areas. I'm also going to use a red wooden floor color but first I'm breaking on the lookout here. So the mast is also part of the get famous debug, but as I said, I wanted to customize this as much as possible. So I decided to place a flag on top and I wanted to turn this into a functional lookout. You can see that I've placed a floor piece up there. So your Sims will be able to use this area. I've then added a ladder and this object at the top is from high school years. I'm going to change this layer Later because here at this point I'm just playtesting this a bit so you can see that it's functional I just included this so this object there's kind of like some some dirt in there it's some type of planting pot so the sim is kind of standing inside the object so this wasn't the perfect choice so later on I'm going to change this but it's functional and I've placed a telescope up there and it looks really cool you might have spotted this at the very beginning of the video and I just wanted to add all these fun areas to really turn this into a cool looking pirate ship and I generally added so many details like here, for example, this is the exterior down there and I wanted to make this super detailed. This wall decoration is from high school years. It has this art deco vibe, which is like mostly used like this style for high schools in the US but here I just repurposed this object and then this wooden wall decoration is from Snowy Escape. I just wanted to add so many things so it's super detailed and I just added different shelves and just just all kinds of different things. Anything I could find that would make sense, I just added it to the ship. I've also used different window types. I've then used this wall decoration from Decor to the Max, and it's supposed to be placed on a wallpaper, but I've just used it for the windows. I've used the pink swatch for my Barbie belts, but here I thought, hey, it's also like it's coming in a red swatch as well, which would be perfect. These windows in the front with the shutters open are from the jungle adventure pack i think and i then started to like slowly figure out what's going on on the inside i changed the color of the lights to this warmer tones so it's like really comfy and cozy so it looks almost like candlelight and i then just started to add stairs and really wanted to make this functional so i knew that i would like to have the captain's cabin up there in the area in the back and I wanted to turn the area at the very bottom just into a kitchen and then there's one room with bunk beds where the rest of the crew could sleep. So I really wanted this to like make sense. I really wanted to have a floor plan that really looks like a pirate ship and you can just use this as a regular residential lot. You have a master bedroom like the captain's cabin and then you have this one room with all these bunk beds for the crew but any sim could sleep in there so you could use it for a regular family as well and 
yeah, this way it's functional. There will also be a bathroom. Yeah, and here I'm just adding a platform to the bag so your sims can actually step on this area as well. I've then added some stairs and there are also stairs which are part of the debug object. So these are obviously not functional. So I just added some regular stairs and they are kind of sitting above or inside the fake ones. It's not looking perfect, but you can see it here. The sims will be able to walk up this area and and at first I had placed the telescope in this area until I realized that it would make more sense to use it in the lookout because why would the sims even walk up there? Like I had to make it functional in some way and yeah this is when I just realized that it would make more sense. I've also used these curtains on the exterior just to add more detail. It probably doesn't make a lot of sense because curtains are usually just used on the inside and I'm also going to use them on the inside but I just felt like they add so much detail and color and here at this point I'm just adding the journey to the two flags when Sati told me that this could be a good choice and I completely forgot about them and this is also when I just removed the curtains from the werewolves pack at first I just moved them over to the side using tool because I thought okay if I don't like the journey to the two flags I can just move them back so this is why they're kind of chilling in the background at this point but I'm going to get rid of them also the whole building process was different. I was sometimes just staring at debug and build by in general for like an hour and I was just looking for all kinds of different objects which would make sense and I just placed them on the ground. So as soon as I start to furnish the build you will see that there are tons of build by objects on the ground on the beach because I just wanted to place different objects that could make sense on the interior and this way I could just grab them to furnish because I feel like the recording process would have been just so confusing and long because sometimes I was just like staring so long at built by so this was much easier for me and it's probably also better for the video because this is like so far outside my comfort zone. When you are trying a new style, you just have to figure out which objects could work. So this is why I did it this way. So just in case you're wondering what's going on. I found this super cool decoration from Journey to the Two, which I then placed in the front. And Journey to the Two also has like this table bench combination, which I've placed in the center. Also functional, so your sims can sit down there. I play tested this and I then started to furnish. You just saw how I've worked on the floor plan briefly, but I made some changes. So I just decided to have this one room here where we have the bunk beds and one individual bed and the small room in the center is going to be the bathroom and then this big room in the center is the kitchen, the living room. So just the area where the crew can come together and have a meal or just any some family who's living in this. I'm really excited to see how this build will be used as always just leave a comment down below if you are using it if you like it and how you are using it because it's such a unique build this is always really exciting to me yeah, and here i'm furnishing the kitchen i wanted to have this very cluttered look i'm not good at cluttering but i really did my best here i wanted this to look very cluttered and just really realistic and I added all kinds of different objects and you can already see all these objects on the beach. As I said I was looking at built by and I just placed them on the beach so I found just different things. These swords which are on the wall now, different pens, just different things which can be used as a decoration. Also this fence that I have used here on the inside and also on the exterior is also from Get Famous. So it's part of the whole pirate ship debug thing and it's just perfect and I wanted to just divide this really big room to have a table and some chairs and then I just have the kitchen on the other side. I wanted this to look realistic and rustic so I've used like this stove and oven. There's some wood at the bottom so it's like really just perfect for a build like this and I just cluttered and cluttered and placed different things. I've also used the same curtains on the interior and I then just placed a sofa 
behind the dining table so the interior is like a bit random but i feel like it's a pirate ship so it's not like your regular living room so this is where your sims can hang out and yeah it was really different to dive into this type of interior the exterior wasn't as challenging because it's a pirate ship and I mean generally you just have an idea what a pirate ship should look like, like the type of style and then as I've said I've also taken a look at different pictures and pirate ship toys but then also like the interior is a completely different animal. Because I feel like you just have your favorite objects in this game when it comes to furniture and decorations. Because there are so many objects in Build By at this point and you just know where to find them and what makes sense. But when you dive into a completely new style, you just have to figure out what could work. The small lamp that I'm using in different areas, for example, I'm never using it. I just stumbled upon this and thought, okay, this makes sense. And this is kind of where the process is different, but also so much fun. And again, if you have like any any fun requests let me know what I should do I'm just having so much fun creating all these unique builds also like the Polly Pocket build for example was so much fun and if you have like any requests uh, I'm just going to take a look if I can do it and if it makes sense and yeah like I'm reading all your comments just throw all your ideas at me and I will see what I can do some of you have asked for a Bratz build. I don't know about Bratz because I, like, I've never played with this. I think this came out when I was like a teenager probably. So I don't know about this, but I'm going to Google this and take a look at this and what I can do. So this is kind of new to me, but I will just see what I can do. All these toy recreations, all these colorful builds were like so much fun. And I mean, this year is not a toy recreation, but it's funny that I stumbled upon so many Lego pirate chips when I was like researching pirate ships and yeah so in a way this might count as some type of toy recreation. Yeah, and this is the captain's cabin so it's like a bedroom but I also wanted to have a desk, a treasure chest because the captain has the treasure or the gold in the bedroom so it's like all in one room safe and secure with the captain and I then found an object from I think cats and dogs it's like a map but like it's an island I think it's obviously Brindleton base you will see but I thought it makes sense because it's kind of like it's the captain's cabin and then there is this type of map thingy so like for navigation and yeah I cluttered this I've used all types of different objects again I was taking all the objects from the beach and I was just placing them in there and in this corner on the right side I just placed the bed and a fireplace so it's nice and warm and cozy at night and I just really wanted to have this cluttered beautiful vibe. This year is my favorite room in the whole house or ship. I wanted to say house at first. I just love how this turned out. And I hope that you will enjoy this. Like if you should use this or like even if you're not using it, I just hope that you enjoyed the video and that you enjoyed the pirate ship. And this video is slowly coming to an end. I'm going to add lots of screenshots as always so you can take a close look at what I've built here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like the pirate ship. This build is available in the gallery. It's CC free and unmodded. I've used the two mod in some areas, but as always, Always the two mod is not affecting the gallery upload. Yeah, my ID is Kate Emerald, so you can just grab this build from the gallery. You can also grab the tray file from my Patreon. And speaking of which, it's time to thank my wonderful Emerald Patreons and my Emerald YouTube members. A big thank you to Mehmet Ali Baris Khan, Paula Anna, Asia, Emma Barnes, Charlotte, Lisa Martin, Dia Cross, Saturated Spark, Shannon McClam, Stephen and Helena Lynn. Thank you so much for your huge support. A big thank you to all my other Patreons and YouTube members. And of course, a big thank you to anyone who's watching my videos. Thank you for just being here. I love you so much and I'm just so grateful for any support. So thank you for just being amazing and for always being here and supporting me. I love you all so much. I wish you a absolutely perfect day and week and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.